Does anyone else feel like two stone heavier in a couple of days? Because I was just wearing the matching top to these jamas, which I actually got for Christmas, and I had to change because I just looked two stone heavier. <laughs> Welcome back, welcome to a what I got for Christmas video. I know that everyone does disclaimers on these and my disclaimer is I'm obsessed with watching them. I think they're like a better version of a haul. I also think these videos actually are good gift inspiration for say like birthdays or next Christmas or a gift to me from me. Oh and however you spent your Christmas this year, I hope it was a good one. Right, let's get into the gifts. In no particular order. Da -da -da -da. That was meant to be a drum roll. Da -da -da -da. No, it doesn't sound like a drum roll at all. Right, where should I start, where should I start? First up we have this, the slow cook book. And it's basically a slow cooker recipe book, which I really actually needed, but didn't know I needed. Because every time I do my food shop, I always go on Pinterest and look for slow cooker recipes, Google, I look through my Jamie Oliver cookbook, and slow cooker recipes are the ones that I can never find. I just struggle to be inspired by them. But the good thing about this is it's 200 oven and slow cooker recipes, so it gives you the alternative to if, say, you didn't have a slow cooker or you just wanted to cook it normally. So where she got this from, but anything I show, I'll link below or try and find it. Uh, apparently this had the best reviews. I'm actually so excited to do my next food shop. Never thought I'd say that, but just so I can buy some stuff for this. Someone else also got me a cookbook, and it's the Jamie Oliver Seven Ways. As I said before, I use the Jamie Oliver Five Ingredients. I like his cookbooks. I mean, I've only had one, but I liked it. So I think I'm gonna like this one as well. And the last book I got is this one. How do you say this again? I can't remember. Huga. 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 <laughs> I don't know if anyone remembers, this book a couple of years ago was everywhere on Instagram. I don't know if that's because I have a home account, so I follow a load of home accounts, but this book was literally everywhere. Everywhere, ever, everywhere. And I always wanted it, and now I actually have it. This is for my little sister. And I just told you that because I'm not going to tell you who got me these, and I'm not going to say thank you to them in this video because I've already done that. I believe it's all about your home and like being cozy and stuff. You know, you're, I forgot how to say it already. Hi, you, when you feel it, it is when you're cuddled up on the sofa with a loved one or sharing comfort food with your closest friends. If you watch my vlogs, you'll know I smashed this glass, and this glass is my favourite anthropology glass. What colour is it? God, I smashed it and someone replaced it for me, which I'm very happy about. You'll probably recognize some of this stuff from my gift guide. As I said in that video, I pretty much would be happy with all of this and I am. So this is a, a this is an oil diffuser and I can smell the one I used last night. It's like a, a sleep one. You basically just put some water in here, a few drops of the essential oil of choice and it steams out and you can pick a different colour to put it on, different light colour and yeah, it looks so nice at night and it's just all cosy and it smells so good. Oh, I'll show you the different essential oils I got with it as well. So I got these ones, Immunity Boost in Blend, Calm Mind and Sweet Dreams. And then these ones are, I think are from M&S. So you've got Dark Orchid and Amber, Tuba Rose and Gardenia. And lavender, lavender, I can't speak. Lavender and cam, cam I can't speak. Yep, yeah, these. Is it even Christmas if you don't get soap and glory? I don't know if anyone else gets soap and glory every Christmas, but I do. We've got the body wash, the lotion, exfoliating body scrub. And it comes in this cute bag. And I thought this bag was actually really good for traveling when we travel again. If you're not into astrology and anything, you're gonna be like, what the hell, but. Here we go, so this is a little box with different star signs on. Inside is different crystals, stop trying to focus on my head. It's different crystals for your star sign. So these crystals are best for Pisces, I'm a Pisces. Oh, and I also got like a little Pisces key ring, but my keys are in another room and I can't bother to move. My stepmom had these on the table instead of crackers and inside was a lottery ticket and the scratch card. The scratch card, I didn't win anything, and unfortunately, you're not looking at a millionaire right now. I honestly thought I wasn't gonna look at mine until I got home, because in my head, I made up this whole fake scenario that I was actually a millionaire and didn't know it for the whole of Christmas. So, <laughs> unfortunately, that didn't happen. But with the lottery ticket and the scratch card, there was chocolates and 
this cute key ring so it says big sis on it and my other little sister's got one as well they all connect which i thought was quite cute so i need to put that on my key ring yes it's silver but we can let it off for sentimental reasons another thing for my gift guide the ball no <laughs> it looks like a ball the moonlight it comes with a remote you can dim it change the colors change like the flashing strobe fades move it's the coziest thing ever. I absolutely love it. I love the moon, if you didn't know. I look at my window and I'm like, moon! And me and Naomi will ring each other and be like, the moon looks really pretty tonight. And then we'll both go look at the moon. As you do. If you saw the state of my old slippers, you will know that this was needed. So I've got some new slippers. They look like they could go outdoors. So hopefully it takes me a lot more time to completely destroy them. Because I absolutely wreck. I absolutely wreck my slippers. I'm not sure how. I really do wear them in. And obviously we've been indoors a lot more this year. So I've got my use out of my slippers. Gift cards, Nando's and all for one. You know you're officially an adult when getting socks for Christmas is exciting. Or is that just me? I hate buying socks. I'm not joking. I wait for Christmas time to get socks. So I thought I smashed a glass then. So here are all my socks, and they have to last me till next year. My next present I also don't buy for myself, and that is perfume. I don't like buying this for myself. The only perfume I buy for myself is Zara perfume. If you've never tried Zara perfume, it's completely underrated. I absolutely love it. Wait, I just held up something that's very, um... God, I love God. Smell of it, the texture. I love gold so much. I actually got this perfume last year. It is Machino. Machino? Is that how you say it? It smells amazing. This is what you get inside. How cute. This is for your handbag. How pretty is that? This perfume is one of my favourites. Completely recommend if you're looking for a new fragrance. Well, I'm going to insert here what one of my friends has got me because I haven't actually got that yet. Hey. So we have a little, one of those lip balms, hold on, one of these ones, it smells like weed, but hey ho. And then we've got this, gold. So it's the one line a day, a five year memory book. This was also in my gift guide, I've always wanted one of these, so literally you just fill in something every single day for five years and you see how it changes but the good thing is is say like in 2022 i didn't bother doing it you can write what year it is i just love it i can't wait to start filling it in and then i also got this which you roll like on the back of your ears or your neck or i can't remember actually <laughs> but you roll it on at night to help you sleep so they didn't know that i got a um rose quartz roller but luckily they got me a jade one, so although it's the same thing, it is slightly different. And how bloody pretty is this? And it also came with one of these. I think there's different benefits to the jade one and the um, rose quartz. I'll have to look it up. Definitely going to think I'm some astrology freak after this video. <laughs> so if you like astrology, you'll be like, wow, to this as well. If not, you'll probably be like, what the hell is that? This person basically makes your natal chart. So this has got my details under my hand of like where you were born, blah, blah, blah. It's basically a whole book dedicated to like my natal chart. I bloody love it. Oh, hey Grinch. Another one from my gift guide is this Himalayan salt lamp and I'm so obsessed. I'll put a clip in of it at night time, but it's just the coziest thing ever. And there is actually loads of benefits of it. I won't go through them and bore you. Okay, we're slowly getting towards the end. Right, now we have some candle bits and bobs. This is a really pretty box of really pretty candles. No idea where it's from at all, but here's the candles. Look how pretty the little pots are. I've got a Yankee set, which I'm actually burning the Home Bargains version in my kitchen right now, the Gingerbread Man one. Mm, smells amazing. This candle, which was from Amazon. I also got this one last year and it smells amazing. It is amber and rose. I think I really love an amber scent. I didn't know this until my Christmas presents and I looked at my Zara perfume and it also has amber on it as well. 
another candle this is from typo this actually looks like my plant pot that i usually have in here got this little candle set you can't tell what that is at all so i needed one of these anything that chops the wick gold one of these is it a snuffer is that what they're called so you put the candle out with that. I think this is when the wick goes into the wax. And then lastly, with the candles, I got a wax melt burner with different wax melts. I think this is an Etsy or Instagram business. I'm not sure. And this is the business it's from. But these honestly smell so good. I've got two little packets. I don't know if these are from the same person. I think they are. Pretty sure. But they do loads of like rude shapes here's my little willy wax smell i can't wait to burn my willy <laughs> look at the detail it even has little lines on it <laughs> oh my god look i've got another phil mitchell nail i'm not swearing at you look we've got another phil okay this is a bit of a random one at first when i opened it i was like what is it because you can't really see what it is it says on it like father like daughter and it is a parrot because that's my dad's nickname basically you scratch it off and it becomes a colorful parrot <laughs> so it's basically a photo of my dad don't ask oh oh i know what this is so i got my friend one of these last year and it is a rose quartz face roller but what i didn't know well what the person that bought me this didn't know is that so it comes with one of these, and I also wanted this. I've seen this all over TikTok, and it's one of those things, and it's also rose quartz. I'm excited to use that. I'm gonna put my oil on and do a little, you know, routine. Also got some face masks, we've got the Garnier, another Garnier, and a Boots Ultra Fine Sheet Mask. So got some Ordinary products. I love the Ordinary. These two are my favorite. This is the rose hip seed oil and the niacinamide. I don't bulk buy anything. I don't buy spares of much, but I do with these two because I actually panic if I'm going to run out. Also got this, which is actually hair care. I've never tried it before. It's um, a serum for hair density. Makes hair look thicker, denser and fuller and healthier. I've seen this on TikTok and... I'm just really intrigued whilst i have a lot of hair it's not the thickest and i know people use it on like their hairline i don't actually dislike my hairline i've actually been told i have a good hairline it's not that i've got this weird obsession with if i put my hair say like half up i don't like to see any scalp actually when i see people with their hair half up and i see a bit of scalp I'm like it's actually normal but i don't know it might just thicken my hair. I don't know. I just want to try it and see how, what it does. Got one of these Ted Baker sprays. I normally always get these for people. I didn't buy it for anyone this year. But these are really handy just to have in your car or in your handbag. They smell really good. I love these presents but hate them. And that is all the food. I actually got even more food but I've already started eating it. I get after eights every year but this one comes in a little tin. And I just thought I'm going to keep this tin. Will I keep it though? This is me. I just thought maybe I'll keep it and then when I'm like 80, my grandkids will be like, oh my god, this vintage after it's tin. No one's going to say that, are they? They're not going to care. I'm acting like it's bloody Chanel. This vintage Chanel box. Nan, it's after eights. <laughs> this is a vintage 2020, the year of absolute mess. After eights tin. This is vintage. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it now. I'm gonna keep it just for that. Just because it's so crap. <laughs> I haven't purposely done this, but I have a grand finale here. Um, and I'm gonna show you that at the end because it's the grand finale. Now I've got a few clothes bits, a few loungewear bits. I've got this scarf. I don't know where it's from, so I can't tell you, but I love it. Oh my god, please don't tell me I've got lipstick on it. I've got a few bits from Hollister. Is a bralette. A little lacy one. Truth be told, I can't get it over my head. <laughs> so, I'm either going to have to size up or get a different one. Because I was like this. Like, eh. yeah, I need to exchange this. God knows when, because the shops are all closed. Cheers for that, boys. This is my favourite one. This is where maybe the size shouldn't matter, but I'm just a bit confused. It's, it's like a dressing gown, but like a cardigan dressing gown. Really fluffy, really soft. It wasn't my size in it, so they got me it so I could open it. And I can exchange the size if needs be. It's an extra, 
extra small slash extra small. Now, I, I'm nowhere near them sizes. I am a medium. But it fits. Oh, that really horrible thing just happened where your sleeve goes up. Oh, that is the worst feeling ever. Someone's going to comment like, looks too small, hun. You definitely need a medium. And obviously, like I said, I wouldn't wear a jumper under it. I love it. It's got a little bit at the bottom. It doesn't have a zip or anything. It's just stay open. And then to go with this, it hasn't arrived yet. The person that got me this is still waiting for it. This colour, little fluffy shorts. So they do shorts and joggers in the same, like, fluffy feel. Right, I need to take this off now. It's bloody hot. Oh, it's even got pockets. Everyone loves a pocket, don't they? I'm aware that this is the saddest purchase to be excited about, but it is my new steamer. I hate ironing to the point that I just don't even iron. I've got a tiny pathetic travel iron, which probably doesn't help with my hate for ironing. And I just don't bother using it. I actually just hair dry on my stuff sometimes. But now I've got an actual steamer and I'm so excited. I never thought I'd be excited to iron in my life. My Christmas presents this year are so adult. Like I'm excited to do a food shop. Who am I? And I'm excited to iron. Who am I? And that is everything I got this year for Christmas. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like I said, I'm obsessed with watching these. Give it a thumbs up. What was that accent? Give it a thumbs up. <laughs> Subscribe and I'll see you in my next video where I'll be ripping this tree down. If it wasn't for this video, this tree would already be gone. I just wanted a Christmas tree in the back. I put a poll up on my Instagram today asking if people were going to take their Christmas tree down before New Year's or after New Year's. And so many people DM me saying it's already gone. Some people took it down on Christmas Day. <laughs> I don't think I'd do that, but after Boxing Day, I'm ready to de Christmas. Like, Christmas is ended. But anyway, thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Ciao for now. Goodbye. <laughs>